What is up? So I have a sick game for you. Um, don't know who my opponent was this game, to be honest, but we get a crazy sauropod game. I don't think I've ever had a sauropod game, anything like this game, to be honest with you. Here are my start, pretty standard. I love this start, as long as they don't buy those units or a cricket. <laughs> cricket poops all over this start. But a lot of times I'm getting enough stats on this turn where I don't even care if I lose. Oh my god, this start was uh, this start was terrible. <laughs> this was a atrocious start to a game. I'm, I honestly don't know how I pulled this one back. This looks pretty rough. Okay, a drum, that'll help. Just buy the toucan. Don't really have time to cook them. No meat bone yet, but get some stats on it. This drum could get us somewhere. Oh my god, it was criminal. That was criminal that we tied that round. That was crazy. And we got our meat bone. We might be chilling now. Oh, these drums. I guess they're apples and the bluebird and the ferret. And still triples, so I gotta take them, but it doesn't feel great. I don't know how this happened, how we went from so far behind to being ahead now. Double chameleon. Kind of tempting. I could just scale one with the drum and then take it with the lobster. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, now they get whale and skunk. Their board is all of a sudden looking good again. The auto pets goes. It swings in both ways. Oh, we buffed the hatching as well. I might end up taking that. Get a lobster buff. Take my chameleon. Yeah, just get out of the drums now. Take all these lobster stats. And for just two can, really. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy rice. Get a rice lobster. This is fine. Double dolphin. Okay, I'll take those break points. Ooh, now we have a garl. I like to see that. The foam sword, the chameleon. Now we have a tar. Probably just pie the tar. Could pie the toucan. But he's got skunk. I kind of don't want the skunk to the toucan. I guess with hatching it wouldn't have. And the chameleon had higher stats. Yeah, bro. Not even close this fight. But I mean, the chameleon foam sword will do that. Stack the chameleon. Have a toucan triple. Also have the chameleon triple. Could sell hatching for it, but it's not that big of a difference. I mean, the gold wise, it's about the same. I'm just losing a shop slot. Still winning these fights. I do love that. All of a sudden, their whales, <laughs> their whales gone, and they're a seal board now. I don't know what's going on over there, but we do have a sauropod, two sauropods. What I love about sauropods is lasagnas are so good; they get better and better. In this game, these sauropods, they're not just going to discount money; we're going to be making money from these sauropods. Well, these are all one gold shops. I love to see them. Take the chocolate, get the reset, buy another lasagna, another sauropod. Now our shop food is free. And look, we got a lot of stats on the sauropod. Got it, it's still got one shot. But we got a lot of stats, only lasagnas. That chili tie was sick. But yeah, buying lasagna is good, and sauropod just gives you the incentive to buy more lasagnas. Cool. Bongoose. Another lasagna. I buy a pie. I sell the tar. Take the peanut. Should buy the pie. Another sauropod. At some point, this game, I would hope for an Ellie seal. But, you know, if we keep getting these lasagnas, we might not need one. But, yeah, this board would be amazing if I had Ellie seal. 
you know, we're just full peanut team right now. It'll get us by. Take another lasagna. Don't need the salt anymore. We're gonna have peanuts for days. A free chocolate. Let's take mantis shrimp. That way we don't need 21 on this guy. Got it. That lasagna felt so bad because it wasn't free, but we still took it. We're gonna have 21 on the peanut. It's there. I mean, it's our board is just all peanuts. It's kind of crazy. So this turn, I believe I run out of time, and it'll become apparent why. Here, let me slow it down. So I buy Sauropod. And I'm just buying these perks because I make a dollar for buying these perks. Because I have just enough sauropods. Yep, and here I buy a perk. Make my money. Now I reset a sauropod. Buy this one to trigger reset the other sauropod. Freeze the mongoose. I can roll and buy something and make more money. Yep, a chocolate. Makes a dollar. Buy the can because it also makes a dollar. Earl. Now here, I I remember I was really low on time. I tried to buy the pie on the sore pod with the pie already. And then I got the notification saying, oh, he already has a pie. And I had two seconds left, so I just clicked cancel and bought the mantis shrimp. But, yeah, there's still more money to be made here. But, yeah, we're going to win. We got... 21 on the peanut. We have a board of peanuts. Yeah, easy, easy game. This next game I want to show you is against Crocs. And what's crazy about this game is I pulled out all the stops when it comes to tech this game. I think I hit him with so many different moves. It's too sick a game not to share. I I think I I might have hit him with everything. I might have hit him with everything I had. Uh, truly, my tech is infinite, so, you know, I can't ever hit him with anything. I even hit him with the turn two duck cell this game. I didn't even think about that one. But I like doing this with the one duck. So I got some stats in the ladybug and the bluebird. I'm a big fan of that. Probably combine my ladybugs or bluebirds. I guess it doesn't matter. They're both at one. But it's also a throw round. Which I didn't position well for a throw round. Yeah. All right, we, we don't win the throw round, or we do win the throw round, which is losing it. Let's see, you, what do we go next? Let's take lemur, probably go radio. Yeah, I like radio in this spot. We get owl. Let's just do this. I like a, a little short term owl. Uh, at least at, at this point in the game, I look at this owl and I think it's a short term owl. Also, <laughs> what a sick fight to win. That putting all my stats on the ladybug, the bluebird triple. That'll just take a hair. Here's a good buff target. It's also some of the tech that we deploy this game. Goes double hedgehog. I hate to see it. Hedgehog is kind of annoying, but at least we did go radio. Yeah, this was um was supposed to be a temporary owl game, and then this shop happened. So no longer a temporary owl game. I probably just skip both of these tier ups. Honestly, yeah, this makes the most sense here. It's like I have two guys I like to buff. Don't really want to change my board just yet. These are good things to have locked. I love that my bluebird is beaming the hair. We really need a garlic pretty, pretty badly <laughs> to deal with this. The bombs on his team. And so now we get garlic. We're going to get an apple, a better apple, and then an apple with upside. Probably take uh, eucalyptus this time. That makes sense. It's not like he's buying equipment. Thought about the um, 
I would think about the croissant if it were turn five, but on this turn, I'd just rather get a pie on this hair. The bluebird, man. <laughs> He's doing crazy things. He just keeps beeping the hair. But yeah, now our giant garlic ladybug. He gets us the tie. Take our triple. What's in the box? Snapping or stonefish? Probably stonefish. Yep. I, you know, I, that was a good habit, but I could have sold the mouse. I didn't end up wanting that shop. But there we go. We get a pie. That probably just goes on the hair. Next one goes on the stonefish. Freeze a puppy. Good toy to have. Also, it's a toy on 8, which gives us the upside of hitting Mosasaurus. Ah, uh, if our hair could have just lived, we could have traded the shark with the hair. So sad. Honestly, I think I should probably just skip this puppy at this point. But we don't. But it's fine. I think I do overwrite him. Try to bait me with another puppy, not interested. Yeah, and now I see this. And I have a feeling he's not going to pill the turtle. He's got a hedgehog. I have a hare. So I'm going to hit him with the toy gun. Another pie. I want one more turn of my owl. Probably get out of owl next turn. By locking this chameleon would be kind of sick. I guess we don't need him. Yeah, kill the shark. Ooh, the garlic on the hair because it's a tie. Normally we lose. Or gives us a win. Normally we tie. Take a triple. Get a T-Rex. <laughs> Please don't remove T-Rex, Teamwood. We need him. I'm going to lemon him because he's parrot crocking on me. Also kind of just helps with the level 3 hedgehog. I already have one tier five. Gonna lock the snapping and roll for a better one. And Moza is a better one, especially when there's a new toy right beside it. It's gonna take that. I honestly have been thinking about locking these lasagnas, but chocolate on the T-Rex is probably just better. He dodges our toy gun, but we still win. And now it's probably time to sell the ladybug. I'd rather sell the ladybug than the hair. Time to pull out the foam sword. His shark is still low on HP. Chocolate the T-Rex. Yep. Oh, there's a chameleon. Take a double up on the foam sword. This is like all the stops when it comes to tech. Don't need another chameleon. This is fine. Let's see, let's see. He goes second and last shark. They're both dead to foam sword. Doesn't matter where they were. Let's see, what do we do now? Probably want to look for the chocolate on this T-Rex. Oh, there it is. Let's freeze the mongoose. Flag squirrel, almost considerable. But we decide to angler a shark, another tech comes out, probably pie the shark. This is sick. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this. Uh, we're deciding if I'm selling the hair next turn or not. It's probably am. Yeah, but we still have more tech to show him. He does get a boar that doesn't go to town. Yeah, we still have a big shark. Bang. Now we probably are selling this hair, I'd imagine. Yep. I wonder if I lasagna this Mosasaurus. I kind of want to get him to 21 next turn, which is kind of possible. If, T if I hit a pie and T-Rex hits him once, yeah, then I lock the pie for it. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Another stonefish. I put this stonefish in the front because 21 peanut. A new, another tech to pull out. But he was prepared for the 21 peanut. It's got a front stake. And a back bore for my shark. Also a leopard killed our back stonefish, which would have got us a tie there. So, you know, 21 peanut, not good enough. Time to pull out new tech. First we angle her again, I wanted a leopard. Uh, we get a boar, which we're probably still not keeping. Gonna sell him. You, you see what we're doing. We got him locked in the shop. I know he's gonna front stake again because I had a peanut last turn. And uh, like I said a lot about microbe is my board has more numbers than his board. So I'm just happy with doing exactly this. Like I'm, I love having a micro when I have the team with larger stats. Also, I have units that gain stats back. My little shark man. So we remove a honey and a melon. The melon is the important one. But yeah, we win that game. We pulled out all the stops against Crocs. As soon as I see somebody I know on the ladder, I gotta go full hog on them. But yeah, this was a fun game. He did kind of low roll, and I kind of hit everything. I think I hit like five or six different tech options on him. So yeah, but I just wanted to show that game. It was sick. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe. Have a good one everybody.